Hello and welcome to our new Ible Bits show where we'll keep you in the loop with six of the most trendy, newsworthy stories of the day. Today we're talking about the District of Columbia, AMC Theaters, and more. Let's get going. It's been a historic couple of days for the District of Columbia as the House of Representatives pushes for statehood. The bill was presented in 1993, but didn't pass with a losing vote of 277 to 153. Mayor Muriel Bowser said, I was born without representation, but I swear I will not die without representation. Advantages to statehood for the district would include representation in Congress and more local authority. Looks like our return to theaters will be slightly delayed after the resurgence in coronavirus cases. AMC, America's largest theater chain, announced they will reopen their doors two weeks later than initially planned to accommodate the release of Tenet, Mulan, and more. CEO Adam Aaron said Monday that, quote, our theater general managers across the U.S. started working full-time again today and are back in their theaters gearing up to get their buildings fully ready just a few weeks from now for moviegoers. He continues adding, that happy day when we can welcome guests back into most of our U.S. theaters will be Thursday, July 30th. I can't wait. Ever wanted to watch a movie with friends in different places, but you couldn't quite sync up hitting the play button at the same time? Problem solved. Amazon Prime is launching a new feature called Watch Party that will allow two accounts to sync up. The host of the session will have full control so pause breaks to refill popcorn and soda can be coordinated. Sessions will support up to 100 people and include chat features. Make sure you have a Prime membership as it's required. Stay tuned for more info. Big news from the fitness industry, as athletic apparel company Lululemon has just acquired Mirror for $500 million. The deal is expected to close in Q2 of fiscal year 2020, and the news sent Lululemon shares up 4% during after-hours trading. The Mirror offers live in-home workout classes with, with a $39 monthly subscription fee, while the hardware itself costs $1,500. Lululemon views this as an opportunity to invest in the pandemic-era home workout craze and expand on the Mirror user base, which is currently in the tens of thousands. The Last of Us 2 is breaking sales records on the PlayStation 4. Naughty Dog's epic sequel to 2013's original sold 4 million copies in its first three days, surpassing Spider-Man, God of War, and Uncharted 4. The game's director, Neil Druckmann, said, We are so immensely grateful to the millions of fans around the world that have played The Last of Us Part 2 and shared their experiences with us over the last week. The success of the game studio is undeniable, with a show in the works for The Last of Us and an Uncharted movie adaptation that recently cast Tom Holland and Mark Wahlberg. I personally finished the game last night and loved every second. The Patriots may have found their QB replacement for legend Tom Brady. After signing a one-year deal with the Pats, Cam Newton will look to get back into his MVP form and tweeted, quote, I'm excited as I don't know what right now. I'm assuming he was trying to avoid an expletive on that quote. The Patriot organization is known for player accountability, so expect Newton to have to earn the starting job when training camp begins. After the signing, Las Vegas moved New England Super Bowl odds from 25 to 1 up to 20 to 1. Thank you for tapping into the daily news with me. Remember, you can now post your very own videos onto our platform. I invite you to showcase your passions, gain a new audience, dive into a new interest, be current, and start trends. Thanks for tuning in to Able Bits. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.